radio stations and labels and distributors and all that to understand who you are and what you are about. Right. I mean, also, you guys, I mean, I do a show um, on Mondays and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And I do, like, scratch out people who I play. And I do play spontaneous of, of different artists. And I tell you guys where everyone is. But, and after the show's done, people actually go to our archives, re-listen to it, go down our playlist as who we play. And we see track one there. They don't know who it is. They got to listen to the whole entire show to figure out who was this? And sometimes I don't always come on the air and announce who I just played. So that's also the reason for labeling your music. You know, I mean, plus, you guys, it's, it's, your, it's your pride and joy anyway. You know, take pride in what you do and label it and show the world who you are. Because if a, and like, so like Spider Sin, I'm going to repeat this a little bit different. If any labels or a national radio station bigger than us find you, you see track one, they're not going to play you. That's it. I'm probably saying it, same thing, but a different way of saying it. But anyway. One of the things, too, it, and this isn't something that I brought up last time, but I'll bring it up this time, is if you submit music to something like a Pandora or any of those other like online streaming sites, then they have very, very strict rules on making sure that what you have is clearly labeled. Mm-hmm. And, uh, a lot of those are a one and done kind of thing. Like if you submit a song to Pandora and it's not within their standards and they say, sorry, we, we can't take this. They will never take that song from you ever again. Basically they have that in their, in their documentation. They tell you when you're uploading that if it's not correct and if it doesn't get accepted, they won't let you resubmit it. Um, so it, I mean, you can have like maybe a hundred songs, and if fifty of them are good and fifty of them are bad, then at least fifty of them get in. But you could have had all a hundred songs, and it's the same thing with um, with record labels. There's record labels that the few of them that do take unsolicited recordings, which is ones that they don't ask you specifically. There's not very many, but there's a few that say, "Oh yeah, just send us your demo." They want you to send them a quick easy to read two or three song demo CD and they don't want to have to guess what the songs are. They want mm-hmm. to be able to just pop it in, look at it and and decide on the spot whether they like you enough to keep listening. And I mean, it, that's kind of an ego thing. I mean, labels are kind of jerks sometimes <laughs> as far as that stuff goes, but it's their business. It's what they do. And you either play by their rules or, or you don't play. Right. And, you know, me personally, of course, I play by my rules, so <laughs> I take every <laughs> care of everything myself. But if you ever, if anybody ever looks through a bunch of Spider in the Hall tracks, you'll notice very consistent labeling for the most part. And uh, and that's important if you're going to do it yourself or if you're going to send it to somebody else to do it for you. Just make sure it's labeled. That's all. Really, yep. real simple. Yep, yep. And make all of our us over here happy so that we can know who you are and give you guys credit. Yeah, this is so and so, and this is this song and so, and yeah. And the thing is, guys, um, with with me on this show, when I do do announce who you guys are, I add one more thing to it. I add where you guys are located because of how universal that this sh- this radio station is. We broadcast everywhere. We talk about um. Marissa from uh, Winters in Australia. We go everywhere. So when I do mu- uh, midday music break on Thursdays and Mondays, I announce who they are, where they're from, so that guys, you guys will know what's going on, what how open this this show is. And if any musician wants to come on this particular show, it's a special show, it's a, it's a main show. Um, do your research. Find out who we are. You can go and listen to... Just don't listen to episode 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> <laughs> because he sucked. <laughs> Trust me. I still find some, some redeeming quality in there. But that's because I, I like that kind of stuff. I like the kind of <laughs> DIY kind of thing. So. Yeah, when, when Clayton first came on the show, he said, Is my mic on? Oh my god. Did he listen to 1, 2, and 3? <laughs> Oh my god, he listened to those shows. Why? 
it so sucked back then. Anyway, <sighs> just don't listen to us. Then we're good. <laughs> Um, see, we are slowly also more news. We are slowly getting our streaming license, slowly, slowly getting there. We're going to probably tippy toe into it. Um, Dennis, our techie, wants to look into more things. He wants to see what we can possibly do to get into it. I got some classes coming up in next month, so we're going to slowly get into our streaming license. When we do, it will be a big celebration. Yes. Huge. Big. Humongous. Oh, before, okay, let's go on. You know what? Let's change gear. Um, we have a Halloween show that we are going to start plugging right now. And I hope any of our musicians are out there is listening in. August, I'm sorry, wrong month. October 26th is going to be our Halloween show. And if you guys listened to it last Wednesday, um, we decided we are going to have all the musicians come back any musician we don't care if you've been on the show or not on the show any musician who wants to come on the show has able to perform at a venue has been haunted we want to hear stories yes we definitely do we want to hear your stories and if you've had an encounter with something supernatural we want to know about it yes and there has been three of them in ohio spider now, one of them actually, the the Agora, I I've been to um, really? a couple of times. I've never seen anything out of the ordinary, unless you count uh, Ministry as um, out of the ordinary, and they're kind of a kind of a weird band. But hey, other than that, I haven't seen any ghosts or goblins or ghoulies or anything out of the you know that seems haunted to me. Hmm. But it could have just been the times that I went and, and the seasons and everything. Maybe. So, but there, so we can like, you know, do more research on it, but there, there might be some on the ones I re- I announced last Wednesday that's not on here. I mean, there's some here in Seattle that's pretty crazy. So I should get a hold of these people in Seattle. Hey, you want to come on the show to a Halloween special? You never know. But I like to hear, I like to hear other people out there who actually have the encounter of a third kind, not really third kind, that's aliens, but, um, <laughs> Uh, 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 ghostly goos out there. So, now Bobby Max is a pretty, very haunted place. So, if anyone performing out there, I want to know, man. There, there, there's your thing. Tell us all about it. Yes, and anybody who has any awesome Halloween music, send it over. We want to hear it. Yeah. Yes. It's my first, this is my very first year ever in four years that I'm not working on Halloween. Yeah! <laughs> I'm usually working at Freak Night and now I'm not working on it. Yeah! I'm so happy. I'm going trick or treating. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so if you see Shells out trick or treating, make sure you give her a box of raisins. Yes! I like raisins. <laughs> and you actually give her some that- healthy stuff. Don't, get, don't give her the candy. Oh, come on. I want candy. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Are you going to sing the song? Sing a song? <laughs> yeah. Are you going to sing I Want Candy? I want candy. No. <laughs> I already sang it already once this night, this this once. And it's happy birthday to Clayton. And he liked it, even though it was horrible singing voice. But he liked it. That's all you guys going to get. You guys want me to sing some more? Let's go to karaoke and, get, and feed me rum. Then you'll hear me sing. And no one said anything. Rock, rock on. I was waiting to see. I was, I was like, is somebody out there going to call and be like, all right, you're on. <laughs> all chirp, right. Chirp, chirp. Yeah, no, no one wants to hear me sing. See? <laughs> no one wants to do it. All right. Let's go I don't think anybody wants to test your, your alcohol limits. I think that's what it is. Probably not. That's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Actually, I'm a cheap date. I don't drink that much anymore. So two, three drinks. I am, yeah, yeah, you're sexy with one tooth. No, <laughs> <I don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's take a small break. Here, um, we have uh, Strangely Our Right is coming on the show. 
um, next Wednesday. So I'll play two songs back to back with them. So here's come all come on all. Blah, blah, blah. Let's say this again, shall we? Yes, I can speak. The song's called "Come On" by Strangely Alright here in Seattle. So, yes, yeah, Spider, were you gonna say something? No, no, go ahead. <laughs> Come on, (laughs) I'm sure you're right. (laughs) 